All right, folks, we're going after another truck that died in the field the other day. Um, I've got the C5. I'm parked at the corner of uh, Amber Road and Smith Road. We've got the truck that's do it's down in the field. We've got to cage the brakes, pull it up out of the field with a 9410, get it parked on the side of the road, then we'll uncage the brakes, hook the C5 to it, hook up the airline from the glad hand, going back into the supply line on the truck and then we'll be able to pull it home dump the load off that's on the truck and then we can get that uh, truck taken to the truck shop to get worked on there's something wrong with the fuel system um, on that truck it's a sterling it's an o2 sterling with a c10 engine in it and it's got something that's fuel related uh, wrong with the truck i'm not sure what it is but um, we're going to get that to the truck shop here this afternoon and uh, so they can work on it. So let's run down and get that truck out of the field. It is muddy as hell. This, this field here is flat. I wish it was parked in this field, but it's not. It's actually down over the hill down there. And um, the field's quite steep. Uh, the other night they tried pulling it out of there, but they ran out of air with the truck and um, they couldn't pull it any farther. So we're gonna get it today. All right. Well, you can see that's where the truck is parked, right there. And we're gonna see if we can't pull it up out of here. It is a pretty steep hill here. Um, I don't know, well, I guess you could go down in there. We're gonna have to probably go out and around that way when it comes time for you to get up out of here. But, who knows? Maybe it'll freaking go. Looks like they left the window open for me. That's got cloth seats in it, too. Damn it. Why did we leave the window open? It rained all day on that damn thing. Alright. Alright, we've got the brakes or uh, cage in all four locations. It's all uphill out of here. So what we might have to do, we might have to circle around the field and run out and around over there so that we're approaching the road at less of a steep angle. But for how much rain we got, the ground seems hard right here. So we might be all right. Yeah, that way up and around and then we're pulling on the road at the right angle. But if you can't get going, just start circling that way. Sure, it's not gonna tip over. And take it wide. Well, don't pull on me too hard. It's all it is all loaded on this side. So let's give her a try.
sweet. All right, we cannot get this thing out. Uh, it's just a, a fight battle here. We're gonna run back, get the 9320, and another a cable, and another couple of chains, and hook two tractors to it, and uh, try that. The other option is we bring a truck in here and dump the load right there, and uh, scatter it around the field here. That's a that's another option. So we're gonna idle that down. Oh, doing burn off. All right, so we're gonna go gather up some pieces here and um
this is sweet. Say that, Sean. Dude, that's, it's, heavy. it's not light. <laughs> oh hell yeah, cold start season. I don't, I don't know what we do. Do we go down there now? I think they're going to go to the corner, aren't they? Yeah, did, uh, did he clean that cable up? Oh, uh, no. Get that. We're going to come down here to fix it or something. Yeah, I know. This is a disaster. <laughs> Dude, that fucking truck is heavy. I had to put a diff lock. Oh, hell. Not the diff lock. All right, we got that up out of there. And, uh... I was able to pop it, pop start it. We got it running. Kind of hooked some fuel lines up that the mechanic had unhooked. He was trying to pressurize the fuel system to get it to uh, start on its own. And it got raining on him the other day and it just turned into a mongrel. So we got to hook up a fuel line there and we've got to hook up the uh, air line back to the compressor because Jared came down here the other night to try to pull this truck out of here. And, um, he ended up bringing the big air compressor in to power up, air up the system. So we're going to get this back started again, if it'll start on its own. But we got to build air pressure so that we can uncage these brakes. And then it looks like we're going to be able to drive it home. But um, the diesel shop still wants to look at it. I don't know what they've got in store for it. But um, they know more about that kind of stuff than I do. So we're going to tighten up the airline, get the fuel line back hooked up. And then we're going to get the truck home, get it dumped off, and we're going to get it up to uh, 
the uh, diesel garage. So, uh, we'll join you guys back here in a little while. Alright folks, just like that, we're pulling into the dooryard. I'm going to pull up on the scale just to see, just out of curiosity what this weighs. I'm guessing maybe 50,000, somewhere around there, 50 to 52,000. So, we're just getting on the scale and I got a phone call. Yeah, look at that. 51.2. So, we'll take this down and dump it, and I gotta answer the freaking phone.